total surface area. Now that we can identify some three-dimensional figures, we will learn to calculate the surface area of each. The total surface area of a solid is the sum of all the areas of the surfaces. The lateral surface area refers to the total surface area less the area of the bases. When calculating the surface areas of the solids, don't get bogged down trying to memorize a lot of special formulas. Instead, where possible, rely on your ability to identify the shapes of the faces and use the formulas that we have learned earlier. Let's go through some examples to see how to calculate the total surface area. Example 1. Find the total surface area of this right regular hexagonal prism. First, let's identify the shapes of the faces of this solid and then calculate the area of each of these. We see that each base is a regular hexagon, 6 inches on each side. The formula used to find the area of a regular polygon is a sub 1 is equal to 1 half the product of the perimeter and the apothem. The perimeter, of course, is easy to calculate. It is the sum of the sides of the hexagon, which is 36 inches. The length of the apothem will require a bit more work. Look at hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. We can calculate the measure of each interior angle using the formula that the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon is equal to the number of sides minus 2 times 180, all divided by the number of sides. Substitute 6, the number of sides of the hexagon for n, and solve. We find that each interior angle measures 120 degrees. Because this is a regular hexagon, line segment OE will bisect angle FED. Thus the measure of angle OED will be 60 degrees. Draw in line segment OP so that it is perpendicular to line segment ED. This is the apothem. Because this hexagon is regular, the line segment OP bisects the line segment ED. Thus the distance from point E to point P is 3 inches. Notice that we have formed a 30-60-90 right triangle with the shortest side of length 3 inches. Let X be the length of the apothem and use similar triangles to write the proportion. X is to 3 as the square root of 3 is to 1. Solving for x, we find the length of the apothem is 3 times the square root of 3 inches. Now we're ready to use the formula for finding the area of a regular hexagon, which is a sub 1 is equal to 1 half the product of the perimeter and the apothem. Substituting 36 for p and 3 times the square root of 3 for a, we get that the area of the hexagon is 54 times the square root of 3 square inches, or approximately 93 and 5 tenths square inches. Then, since we have two congruent bases, the area of both bases will be 2 times 93 and 5 tenths, or 187 square inches. Next, we will look at the lateral faces of the solid. There are six lateral faces, each a 6 by 10 inch rectangle. In order to find the area of each rectangle, we will use the formula a sub 2 is equal to length times width. Substituting 10 for length and 6 for width, we get a sub 2 is equal to 10 times 6. Thus the area of each rectangle is 60 square inches. From this, we can find the area of all the lateral faces by multiplying 60 by 6, which gives us a total of 360 square inches. The final step in calculating the total surface area of this hexagonal prism is to add the area of the bases and the area of all the lateral sides. The total surface area of this hexagonal prism is 187 plus 360, which is equal to 547 square inches. Example 2. Find the total surface area of this square pyramid. First, let's identify the shape of each face and calculate the area of each. The base of the pyramid is a square 8 centimeters on each side. The formula for the area of a square is a sub 1 is equal to the length of the side squared. Substituting 8 for s, we get a sub 1 is equal to 8 squared, 
which is 64 square centimeters. The lateral faces of a pyramid are four congruent isosceles triangles. To find the area of one triangle, we will multiply one-half times the product of the base and the height. Substituting eight for the length of the base and seven for the height, we find the area of each triangle is 28 square centimeters. Then, since there are four congruent triangles, we will multiply 28 by 4 to obtain the area of all the lateral faces, which is 112 square centimeters. The final step in calculating the total surface area of this square pyramid is to add the area of the base and the area of all the lateral faces. Therefore, the total surface area of a square pyramid is 64 plus 112, which is equal to 178 square centimeters. Example 3. Find the total surface area of the cylinder. First, we must identify the shape of the bases and the lateral surface. The bases are circles. We can calculate the area of a circle by using the formula a sub 1 is equal to pi r squared. Substituting 7 for r and using 22 sevenths for the value of pi, we get a sub 1 is equal to 22 sevenths times 7 squared. Solving for a sub 1, we find that the area to be 154 square feet. Since a cylinder has two congruent circles for bases, we must double 154 to obtain the area for both bases. This gives us a total of 308 square feet for the area of both bases. Now we are ready to calculate the area of the lateral surface. Think of making a vertical cut up the side of the cylinder and then unrolling it. Notice that the lateral surface is a rectangle with a length, the measure of the circumference of the circular base, and the width, the measure of the height of the cylinder. To calculate the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length and the width. This gives us a sub 2 is equal to length times width, or 2 times pi times r times the height. Using 22 sevenths for pi and substituting 7 for r and 12 for the height, we get a sub 2 is equal to 2 times 22 sevenths times 7 times 12 which equals 528 square feet for the area of the lateral surface of the cylinder. The last step then is to add the area of the bases and the area of the lateral surface. The total surface area of the cylinder is 308 plus 528, which is equal to 836 square feet.